Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, I want to go ahead and install Manjaro Distro on our PS4 running 9.00. Um, this method will work with other the distros as well, so you can go ahead and try others. The one that we're going to be using is Manjaro, and I do have a link here that you can go ahead and download it. This did take me a little bit of time to get running. I did have help from Nasky. We managed to get it running. So let's just go ahead and jump into it and we'll get it running. Um, first off, we will need our Cat Jaro update. You can go ahead and download it. I've already went ahead and downloaded it. It is two and a half gigs. But once you do have that downloaded, we can jump over to Nasky's GitHub site. Uh, he does have a little description here that you can go ahead and follow. It does involve using his host, and that's what we'll be doing for the video. Um, there is the kernels. We'll need a kernel file. I am using a slim, but for some reason none of these files actually work on mine, as well as the Pro 5.3 does not work as well. The only one I can get working is the Pro uh, 4.19. So we'll go ahead and choose that, and then we'll go ahead and download it. So if you are having issues with the particular kernel for your system, just try a try a Pro or maybe try a FAT. One of them should work. So once it's done downloading, we'll go ahead and hit our back button. And we do need this file as well. So we'll go ahead and select it. And that one shouldn't take too long to download as well as it is very small. Go ahead and minimize that. So we can go ahead and bring our files over here. Okay, so this file we do need to rename. So we'll just hit rename. Go ahead and delete all this. So we want to make sure we keep the tar part of it. So when we do delete it, we'll just make sure that that tar stays there. And we'll type in PSX IT Arch. Okay, and then once that's done, we can go ahead and get our drive ready. So I do recommend using this program as it is free, but uh, whichever program you want to use, you can go ahead as long as you can format it FAT32, Windows uh, 10 doesn't let you do it. It only does XFAT and NTFS. So we'll go ahead and delete that partition. And we'll go ahead and delete this one. When doing this here, just make sure you do select the proper drive and you don't end up deleting one of your other drives. So we'll go ahead and create partition. And we'll choose FAT32. Go ahead and hit OK. And we can go ahead and hit Apply. And proceed. Are you sure? Yes. Shouldn't take too long. It's only a 150 gig drive. Uh, I am using the USB, USB 3.0, but it is a SATA drive. Uh, SSD would be a lot quicker. The plan of the future is to use my internal, because I do have a two terabyte in the internal, and I think I would get a lot better speeds using that. Um, and I don't need two ter terabytes in the internal. So once you do have the drive formatted, we can go ahead and close it there. Go ahead and just open up our file explorer and select our drive. And we'll go ahead and drag these files over. Shouldn't take too long at all to copy over. Um, two and a half gigs there. But once it is copied over, we can jump over to the PS4. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, uh, there's a few things that we should have when we're doing this. They're not necessary, but it does make a lot makes things a lot easier. Um, a USB hub, so that way you can have multiple USB ports. You want to have your hard drive plugged into the left side, and then your right side, you want your wireless keyboard and mouse, or if you're using a uh, wired keyboard and mouse, then you will need the USB hub. Um, it makes things a lot easier when you do have your jailbreak USB plugged into that right side into a hub, as well as your keyboard and mouse. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. I've already went ahead and I've added Nasky's host to my cache, so we're good to go. We can go over to our network and go ahead and verify that we are connected. Once we are, we can go to back end of there and go ahead and launch our browser. Now we'll go ahead and select jailbreak again. Go into our jailbreak. Give it a few moments here to pop up with insert USB. Go ahead and insert our USB, and then we'll wait for the message on supported file system, and then we'll go ahead and hit OK. So we can go ahead and hit OK now. 
and our jailbreak is done. So we can go ahead and unplug that USB and if you don't have a hub you can go ahead and plug in your wireless keyboard and mouse. And we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Go over to our settings. Go up to Gold Hand and enable bin loader server. Go ahead and back out of there. Go ahead and launch our browser again. Okay, we're going to go down to disable ASLR. Go ahead and select it. Go ahead and hit OK. And disable ASLR is enabled. Or I should say disabled. So when we go to install Linux, we need to use the one gigabyte. But after it's installed, then you are free to use whichever one you want, depending on what you're doing. But we'll go ahead and select Linux one gigabyte. And then we'll just wait for it to boot for us. It shouldn't take too long to get going, usually 10 seconds or so, and then you'll see it starting to boot. Okay, so any moment it should start coming up. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so we can get our keyboard ready as Linux isn't installed right now, so we're going to have to install it. Uh, we'll wait for the prompt, and there we go, we have it. So we'll type in exec install-psxitarch.sh and go ahead and hit enter. And it should take a little bit of time to install. Uh, it may take like 30 minutes or so. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and just uh, we'll be back once it is installed. Okay, seems like we are finished with the installation. You may get it to boot automatically, but if you don't, you can go ahead and type in exec space start dot psx it arch dot sh go ahead and hit enter and it should start mounting and booting up for you will take a little bit of time to get booted up but it shouldn't take that much time at all uh, we'll give it a few moments here it's just verifying everything that everything is okay. Some things will fail. Um, just don't worry about them for now. You can go in and test them. But everything that we need right now should work okay. Okay, so any moment it should start booting up, or booting in I should say. Okay, so now that we are logged in, we can go ahead and click on IT Mania. And we'll put in our password, which is capital IT, and then Mania. Go ahead and hit enter. And we'll give it a few minutes here just to load everything for us. First thing we'll do is go ahead and switch the language and then uh, we'll do a reboot and then we can come back and I'll show you a few configuration options that we can go ahead and switch around just to make make everything a lot easier for you. Okay, it should start loading now. Once the screen goes like that for the first time it uh, usually logs right in. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and close out this window. Come down to the bottom here, go ahead and click our menu options. Go to system tools. Go to Manjara settings. And we can go ahead and click on the first one here. 
may require a double click. Go ahead and choose English, double click, and then apply. Go ahead and type in our password, IT Mania. Go ahead and hit uh, apply. And we can go ahead and close out of that now. Come down to our menu here. And we can go ahead and hit the bottom option. And we'll go to restart. And we'll hit restart. So I'm going to let that go ahead and I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, so I did do the reboot. Um, now that we do have Linux installed, I did choose the 2 gigabyte payload. Um, you can go ahead with the third or 3 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte, or 5 gigabyte, whichever you prefer. Um, I just went ahead with the 2 gigabytes. So let's go ahead and enter our password, IT Mania. And we'll give it a few moments here just to get booted in. Okay, there's our lightning there, I guess, or orange color, I should say. So here it's going to go ahead and switch the file paths. Um, oh, we can close that out. Um, we where we switch it to English, it's going to change all the file paths so we can keep them. So we'll go ahead and hit update names, and let's go ahead and start off with our basic settings. So we'll go into our menu here over to our system tools. Go ahead and choose Manjaro settings. Okay, and we already got our language set, so we can go ahead and change our time zone now. Just make this window just a little bigger here. Go to change time zone. Okay, and we'll choose the proper location. Yours is probably different than mine, so you can go ahead and choose your own. And once you have it, hit OK and apply. We can go ahead and hit all settings again. And just go into the keyboard layout. Um, it should be English, I believe. Yeah, English. You might have to change yours to whatever you prefer. But once you do have that set, you can go ahead and hit quit. So we'll go down here by the power options, we'll right click, we'll go into our settings. And we'll go to background, oh, background. Change it to a little brighter color. Blue seems to be a little brighter. We can go ahead and hit close on that. Go back down here. Go ahead and set up our Wi-Fi. Uh, select network. Go ahead and choose your Wi-Fi. And hit connect. Put in your password. And hit connect. Okay, and it should say connected. We're going to go to nightlight. And we're going to turn that off just so that way it stays bright at all times. If you do like it dimming, you can go ahead and leave it on. Now let's go ahead and change some of these icons just to make them a little bigger. Go in here to dash to panel settings. And we're going to go ahead and bring this up to about 48. That's big enough. Then we can go ahead and hit close. That's basically it for the general setup of... Uh, Manjara. Um, I will show you what's what we do have in here if you just want to have a quick look. We do have our Dolphin emulator, um, PCXR, RetroArx in here, Steam is in here, video player, not sure how well that works, but you can always download something. And then you have your web browser. 
yeah, but that's basically it. I will show you that the internet works, guys. Go ahead and click here. Give it a few moments here to load. Okay, there we go. And YouTube is coming up. And we can go ahead and do a search for Echo Stretch. And there he is. So if you're not subscribed, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But other than that there, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.